Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Venusian Light Tarot. So today we are going to be doing a pick a card reading and this one is going to be for those of you who are in a no contact or a very complicated kind of complex situationship but for most of you a no contact. Um, and we're going to be seeing here, is this connection truly over? So I figured it would be a good time because we are starting a new year and we're just going to get some information for um, is this connection going to come back around? Um, is it just completely over? So in this reading on YouTube, we're just going to be taking a look at the question and the energy surrounding is it over? And I will you know, try to feel out if it's a yes, if it's a no. Um, I'm sure there's going to be one, if not multiple piles that will be kind of a maybe. So we'll try to get as, as, as um, concrete of an answer. Um, and then we also will be doing an extended for each of the piles. And in the extended, if it's a yes that you, or if it's a no, I'm sorry, that this is not over, then we're going to be taking a look at the next time that you interact with this person, that you talk with this person, or to see them, you know, as well. Something more than just like a small hello um, and see what that will be like. If it is a yes, that this is like completely over, we're going to be seeing some closure messages from this person, what they want you to know in terms of closure and what can kind of help you to, you know, maybe move forward and understand why on their end it's over or why spirit wants you to know that it's over. So of course it could be a trigger warning if you um, are not ready for this or if it, you're not in the situation, that's fine, but that's what we're going to do. So we have three groups to choose from. Group number one is going to be the horseshoe. Group number two is going to be the pendulum. And then group number three is going to be this black tourmaline stone. Okay, so let's go ahead and set the intention together that this reading will be for whoever it's meant to be for. Um, I trust that spirit will guide you to this reading if it's meant for you and will guide this messages in this reading for the highest and greatest good for all of the viewers watching. So take your time if you need to select a pile. The timestamps are down below. If you would like to book a private reading, I have those details also down below in the description box. And I have a link over to my scheduling site for full length video readings. And then I also have my Etsy shop for mini video and written readings over there. And also the extended links are gonna be down below as well. So whenever you're ready, we will jump into group number one. Hello, group number one. If you chose the horseshoe, let's go ahead and see what we have come up here for your reading. If you missed the intro, there also will be an extended reading and you can check out the link for that down below. And if the answer is a no, that this connection is not over, we will be taking a look over there at the next time, the next kind of significant interaction between you and this person, what that might be like and what you can expect. If it's a yes, this is completely over. We will be getting some um, energies from this person of closure for like what they want you to know, what's going on with their energy and anything from spirit as well as to helping you receive closure as to why this might be over. So let's go ahead and see. So think about your person that you are asking about. So Spirit, tap me into the energy for group number one. And I just want to say as well, nothing is set in stone. So even if the energies are uh, either way, like a yes or a no, um, they're never set in stone. So it's just going to be based on current energy. You are always in control of your life and your reality. So don't take it too seriously but just take it more as like an indication of where you are at here and what your kind of energy is attracting with the situation. So tap me into anybody who chose group number one. So tune me into 
the energy of the person and them that they are connecting to. So the viewer and the person on their mind that they want this clarity about. So Spirit, can you help me to channel clearly, please, and accurately for the question surrounding, is this connection over? So can we get as close of a, of a direct answer in this reading, please? So is it a yes or is it a no? What is the energy surrounding this connection? Is this connection over between the viewer and their person? Is this connection over between the viewer and this person that they're in no contact with? We have the Five of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. So right away what I'm getting, and we'll have to get more as we go here. Wow, Five of Wands here too. I am hearing something about space to air things out. So based on like the just the first two cards, I would say this is more so of a no because there's space being taken to air things out or to um, allow whatever has happened here in your no contact to kind of settle is what it feels like. And I am hearing spirits say that you don't know everything or that you're not supposed to know everything in terms of the why or in terms of maybe like what's happening behind the scenes with this connection. Um, I am getting that, uh, yeah, there's a lot of kind of complications here. The High Priestess, the Seven of Swords, and the Five of Wands. It's almost like I do feel this is a connection that will um, at some point or another kind of come back around is what I'm just getting here. And, you know, how healthy that would be, I don't know. We'll have to see in the extended because it does feel like there's a lot of conflict around this. But I do feel like that's kind of the energy I'm getting right off the bat. It feels like... It's like I'm getting something here to do with the, it's almost like they're showing me the ABC, you know, the alphabet, but we're not going in order. It's like everything is jumbled. So there's a lot of kind of jumbles, uh, jumbled energy in this situation and in this dynamic that you're in no contact with, with this person. And I feel like, you know, again, it's kind of like there needs time to settle things down. So with that rainbow there, it does give me the indication that there's some kind of hope here for something to develop. Again, I don't know what that looks like, but it feels like there's something that could develop in the future or that there's more clarity that um, is coming around here in the future. But let's get a little bit more. Group number one, this person and you. Is this connection over, Spirit? Yes or no? Nine of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups here too. Yeah, no. I feel like this is something to wear with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups. There is still a lot of kind of energy being put into this in some kind of way, um, which again, it feels like it's maybe not the most like solid type of energy, but it does feel that there's like a lot of maybe still lingering kind of energy, lingering questions, lingering between the two of you of something unfinished here and like a feeling to where we, I'm hearing about, it's about time, like not as in it's about time to happen, but more so it's the, the, the main thing here going on is an issue of timing and an issue of time. So I feel like this is saying that, you know, whether or not you're willing to sort of wait for the time to be right, or if you're willing to not do that and to move on is up to you. But there definitely is a feeling here to where the timing around this right now just isn't the best time. And maybe up until this point that you've been in no contact, the timing just hasn't been right. And I feel like I'm hearing don't force it. Don't force it. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords kind of flew out and then flew back in. But here we have the Two of Swords also and the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom. Is this connection over between you and this person on your mind? Again, the feeling I'm getting with this one is that there's still this unfinished element. So it's not like a closed book in terms of spirit coming in to say this is closed forever type of feeling. It's not like that. So that's why I'm getting there's still openings here. There's still opportunities for this to come back around. But it just depends with the Queen of Swords. You know, is this something that like 
because I feel like with the, there's something that's not being seen clearly or what what spirit's saying is that that feeling again of there's things you don't know about around this or there's things that you should not know about and that could just be because of I mean it could be a variety of things it could just be because whatever's happening is kind of meant to unfold this way um, it also could be, of course, that there's certain things that maybe they do want you to genuinely see about this connection and this person that maybe is not either right for you or good for you, or the, again, the, the, the feeling of timing right now is not the best. So some of you, most of you are probably in no contact, but for a few of you, you could be in like very sporadic communication and you could be waiting to see if this is going to move anywhere more than just communication. And again, from what I'm getting here, it's not saying this is over. There will still be those trickles of communication. If you are in no contact at all, like completely, I feel like there will be a, some kind of communication that will come in. It feels very small though. Like it feels like I'm sort of like there's a very small space to squeeze through with this reading. So I feel like that's why there's pressure around this connection. There's a feeling of being kind of like things are pressured and narrow, which is why it's coming up as a difficult kind of connection or difficult circumstances around this connection. But let's get a little bit more here. Spirit, can you tell us more about the question surrounding is this connection over? Because I've already said it's, it's a no, I feel but let's just keep asking and get more information. Is this connection over for group number one between them and their person? I mean, it doesn't feel like it's flowing really smoothly in terms of something huge is gonna happen tomorrow and everything's gonna be, you know, make everything better. It doesn't feel like that. So it's not like a big breakthrough. We'll have to see in the extended, but um, let's see. We have look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So the Queen of Swords here in this case is definitely very introspective. It feels like a lot of what this is, is you having to ask yourself, this could even be a mirrored type of connection between two people, you having to ask yourself what you're willing to sort of settle for, or if this is really working for you. Because yes, even if there is more to come with this connection, with the Two of Swords being here, it might also be that there's this kind of, um, almost like I'm hearing what's meant to be will be spirit saying so again the seven of cups here this feels like a very fuzzy kind of outcome you know what's meant to be will be I don't know it depends on how long you've been in no contact but with the queen of swords it's like something where you do have to pierce through any illusion or false hope that you may have of things either getting much better or for you know there to be because it's kind of tricky here let me get one more of these tell me a little bit more spirit for group number one is this connection over yeah, it's about surrender here. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter. Let go and all will work out. So I mean, this pile definitely feels like there's a need to let go of maybe the outcome of this question. So if you're here watching this reading and you've been, you know, maybe like really trying to ask this question or you've been feeling that you want to force things or maybe it's just spirit's way of coming in to say, even if you haven't been forcing it, they could just be telling you that even if you were to try to force it, um, I think this is a very triggering connection and a, and a mirrored connection. So usually those types of situations do revert back to ourselves and what it is that we're learning in that moment with that person. So, and it could even be, you know, since we're asking the question of, is it over? Um, maybe even if you want this situation to come back around, if you are wanting something more to develop with this person in the future, then you do have to let go of the need to know or to let go of like with the Queen of Swords is like this rigid kind of mindset or holding on too tightly because when you do let go, that could be where the Nine of Cups, the wish fulfillment can come in. So.
because I'm being shown with the Five of Swords, a lot of this pile is about mental conflict. There's a lot of mental conflict surrounding this whole situation. So vibrationally and kind of energetically where you are in terms of alignment with this um, coming back together, it's like the mental confusion or conflict surrounding this is, is making it further off or kind of like pushing it further down the road in terms of this coming back together. Tell us a little bit more. Is this connection over for group number one between them and their person? The lovers. Ten of swords. The five of pentacles. So um, I do feel the lovers here. This does speak to a breakthrough, but I kind of almost intuitively feel that it could be about something else though as well. Um, it could be about somebody new that comes into your life at some point. There could be something better for you. Um, I'm hearing stop and smell the roses with this rose that's like wilted. Uh, if this has been someone that you've been waiting for for a long time, or you've again put so much energy into this or so much effort or kind of like angst into this, then I would say this is more about kind of believing in the in the impossible in terms of something maybe better coming in um, let's get some oracle cards here and see what else we have for this reading is this connection over for group number one with the person that they have in their mind they're showing me that sliver again I think I had seen that or at least I don't know if I said it but I saw it or I mean I I don't know if I said it but I saw it yeah with the lovers here, I feel like there's a sliver of hope here. When we come out of the clouds of that Seven of Cups, when we come out of the confusion about this whole thing. And that's why, yeah, that's why I said in the beginning with, I forgot exactly, but with the, with the Six of Swords here, there was something about a temporary space being taken. So... Again, none of these cards to me would point to like a permanent ending because it would be like some major arcana cards like the death card or it's not pointing to that, but it does also depend on your free will and what you choose to do because even if, or because I think this will at some point, something will happen um, with this connection. But even if you choose to not go down that route, there could be something better that does come along for you as well. So tell us more about pile one here. Is this connection over between them and their person? So we have work and finances. So that also could be a factor with the five of pentacles here. Um, there might be one, if it's not you, it's the other person that you're connecting to who could be right now suffering in silence, holding back a lot, um, maybe having to deal with financial pressures, financial issues right now. And that actually I'm hearing could be contributing to what is needed in terms of space being taken from this connection. So a feeling of kind of like, I need space to work on my finances or um, again, the timing around this connection just wasn't right or isn't, isn't right. And so I think that there's a lot of this internal going on. And I think that you both mirroring each other could both feel that way. Uh, it could be more heavy on one side, but it feels like It feels like with the nine of cups here, it's about kind of allowing ourselves to be happy, allowing ourselves to like not hold back anymore, whether that's you or this other person. It's like, see the two of swords choosing to ignore. There's like something that's being, being, being avoided here in this dynamic. And I feel like it comes down to what's within the self. We also have here upcoming trip and we have love bombing. So. Like I said in the beginning, I don't know, I'm just reading if it's a yes or a no, I don't know what that will look like, but it does seem like for some of you it could be because there's an upcoming trip that you will see this person, so you may interact with them on a trip, but there could be, you know, a little bit of love bombing. It might be something that this is going back to sort of, is this good for you or is this something that you want long term? Um, I don't know, I'm just saying that because I'm not sure, but it feels like that's what's coming up as of right now.
let's see. This is connection over between you and this person. Love bombing, upcoming trip. Some of you could uh, work together or you may have met in the workplace just for someone. Yeah, I think this connection is going to be a little bit like the lines are kind of blurry in terms of the, the potential future of it. But yes, there's an opportunity, but it seems like there's maybe, I'm not sure if there's like a taboo feeling here just for some. Um, see, there's like obstacles in this connection though. Um, I do think there's going to be some kind of coming together, a date maybe, but with the silly games, that's sort of what I'm getting. There's there's like a, um, a back and forth dynamic to where both of you are like chasing your tails in circles is kind of what it seems like here. So no, I don't feel it's over. And it seems like it's because of a upcoming journey and trip. Group one, is this connection over? What else can you tell us, Spirit? I'm hearing the word friend, so there could even be something about wanting to be friends, especially if it's been like a while, or if you can only be friends, or if there's a holding back here in terms of going deeper into like a, a commitment. So there could be like an opportunity to be friends or to, because I'm getting that feeling again of like mending something with the six of swords and the lovers here so maybe coming to a resolution together or needing to compromise or just again like sort of going within yourself and asking yourself what's what does this sort of look like in terms of the future so what i say not the right time we have these conditions are not the right time at this moment more work needs to be done we have six months from now we have in the fall, we have April, and we have next month. So there's many of you watching. Some of you, there's a strong feeling of the fall, though, uh, where I am. So six months from now would be, um, where are we in February? Not quite the fall yet. So it could be between, for some of you, something could happen next month, because these are almost like April and next month is close. So next few months. And then if not then, it could be in the fall, closer to the fall, like maybe September, October, I would say, you know, around those kind of, it's like a border here between fall and summer and spring and winter. Um, transitional seasons, there could be something happening in the, at that time. So yeah, that confirms to me that no, it's not over, it's just not the right time. So let's get one of these here and see what else we have. So tell us more spirit about, since we see here that it's a no, let's just see before we look in the extended at just what does the viewer need to know then? What is kind of the glimpse into what this might be then in the future? What does the viewer need to know about what's next or the advice or the outcome here and these are very triggering cards so i just want to say that there it doesn't mean it's the whole situation it just means that these are kind of the more shadow aspects of it we do have the devil in disguise if it appears too good to be true it probably is this person is intelligent witty and has a dark humor are they hiding their anger with jokes take off their mask before you trust them so it doesn't have to be super severe, like you can never trust them and they're a devil. It just means that I feel this person, unless that's the story, but it just, I feel like this person here could be a little bit of a love bomber. Um, and so the next time you do interact, it might be something along those lines to where it's not exactly what you want maybe. Um, I'm seeing at the bottom, we have the dark confessions. So someone is laid up at night, distraught in their heart and their thoughts about you. They have a whole secret book of healing, of healing. I guess they could be healing too. Hidden feelings that they are dying to expose if they ever have the guts. So if this has been a while that you've been in no contact, I feel like there is a lot of emotion or a lot of at least something here being put into this. There's a lot of confusion in this, in this pile in terms of 
who are we to each other or what's real here or um, all of that. So I do think that they have been, if you're waiting for them to be the one to make contact, this person has been feeling very distraught over this. And I think that in the back of their mind or when they're alone, they do think deeply about this situation. But again, I would just say that this is someone to be a little bit cautious of, you know, whether it's a full percentage of this or just like a little bit of a percentage, um, just use your intuition with that. But I think that they, at least the next time, they may not be in a place of, you know, wanting maybe a full on commitment or something more if that's what you're looking for. So they could be really good with their words. They could be uh, this Casanova here. So they're going to come back around for that at the very least. So let's see what they want to say here to you. And then we will go over to the extended. Anything that this person wants you to know, maybe to help with this question of this connection being over or not. We have, do I still have a chance? So especially if, again, you're waiting for them, they could be asking themselves that question. Like, do I still have a chance with you? We have, I can be myself with you. I have too much to lose. I'm being drawn to this saying here, being a tease and playing hard to get. They could feel like they have too much to lose in terms of um, something with holding back. Like I almost feel like there's this energy of not wanting to reveal too much because it leaves someone feeling vulnerable kind of we have you didn't see my tears so f these won't be for all of you these could be different scenarios but for some of you this could be someone that there has been a lot of sadness about this separation uh, maybe a feeling of like i don't really want to be in this separation or i feel bad about how we ended things um We have, I can't do this. I can't get enough of you. Yeah, it's like there's some difficulty in this, in this connection for sure though. I want to make amends and I would do it all again. So yeah, they want to make amends and there is, depending on what this is, you know, maybe I would do it all again if it was a difficult situation. It's like there's still a draw to do this all over again kind of kind of thing because there's this, you know, maybe like intensity or, or this um, with the love bombing too, like kind of wanting to swoop in. But that's what I'm getting. Let's get the final card of advice for you and then we'll go over to the extended. What is the advice for the viewer? One last card of advice. We have a sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. So for some of you, this could be the nature of the next time you see each other. Um, okay, because that could be, and I don't know, we'll look now <laughs> at the extended. Maybe it's just gonna be that and it could be hurtful or maybe it's gonna be a nice thing and you want that as well and you're not looking for more or maybe it's going to lead to more eventually but it just feels like that's at least what spirit wants to say about probably the consistency of what could be next year so i will leave it here group number one and so in the extended we're going to be looking at the next time that you because this feels like a physical interaction for most of you um, the next significant time that you will see them and get together or just interact in that way and what's going to happen between you both and anything that you need to know about that interaction so i hope that this resonated thanks so much for being here and if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up i'd appreciate it and i will talk to you all next time take care and lots of love hello group number two if you chose the pendulum Let's go ahead and see what we have come up here for your reading. And if you did miss the intro, there will be an extended reading and you can find that link down below. So in the extended, we're gonna be taking a look at if the answer is no, that this connection is not over with. 
Um, we're going to be seeing what the next significant interaction is going to be like between you and your person. So a physical meeting, uh, maybe a talk as well if it's not a physical meeting, but for the most part we're going to be seeing like when you actually see them physically the next time. And then um, if it's a yes, that this connection is totally over with, then we're going to be seeing messages of closure from this person, what they want you to know um, about this, about closure, maybe even closure from spirit as well for this connection. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it here. So think about your person that you have on your mind. So spirit, tap me into anybody who chose the pendulum. Tell us about the person that they have on their mind. So them and their person. We ask for clear messages here for the highest and greatest good. So can we get a concrete answer as much as possible for group number two as to is this connection that's on their mind, is it over with? So is it over, no contact, is it coming back around? Um, what does group number two honestly need to know about this question, Spirit? Thank you. So let's see. Yes or no, is this connection over between you and this person? We have the Magician. Okay, there's definitely a lot of energy being put into this connection or around the connection. Let's get a little bit more here. Is this connection over? Yes or no, please, Spirit. We have the Two of Pentacles and we have the Temperance card. So, interesting. This one does feel so far more like a maybe. Um, It's almost like there's a lot of, how to put this, I feel like this could be maybe for some of you a highly energetic connection in terms of being very active on the 5D or energetically speaking, because there is that feeling with the magician. And I'm kind of getting this feeling surrounding maybe, you know, so it's kind of like if I do this, then, then, then we could or if you do something, then we could again. So it feels like it's dependent right now on certain factors is what it feels like. I knew there would probably be a pile, if not more, that was more of a maybe. Hmm, is this connection over pile number two between you and this person? Yeah, it's almost like I'm getting, it changes a lot. Five of Swords, like I'm seeing someone kind of opening a window and then closing the window and then opening it and closing the window. So it's like maybe at some points there's an opening for this, there's a chance for this. Actually, I think that's what it is. There's like fleeting moments to where this could resurface again or come back together. Um, and then it kind of, the window closes again. It feels like that. I feel like with the Ace of Swords here, there actually wants to be some kind of communication or there wants to be some kind of clarity. But with this, these swords here too, it's like we have to kind of make sure that we're putting that clarity together and directing it into the connection, if that makes sense. So I do feel like what I would say for this is, again, maybe, mainly because it's dependent on if someone's willing to actually take action. If that's your person entirely, and if you are not taking action or you don't want to take action, then it could just be them. And they are needing to, if they don't want this connection to be over, it's like they have something to say and they need to do it, but it's dependent on if they're willing to do it in this lifetime, kind of is what it feels like. 
And if that's you, that could also be you too. Maybe both of you have this question mark around like it's not fully over if we don't want it to be over, but we also have to do something so that it's not over. So it's not like I feel like the universe is saying that this is blocked for good or that this is completely over because we don't want it to be for you. It's more of like two people having to come together with this clarity if it's supposed to not be over. That's what this feels like here. So Yeah, I do feel with the Ace of Swords, in time though for a lot of you, that truth will come out one way or another. But I am hearing that, again, it's going to depend. It could be the truth will come out in an indirect way. Maybe for some of you, the truth will come out through a third party, as in like someone will tell you something, or the truth could come out through just you having a intuitive hit about this connection. Um, it feels like with this information wants to come through but is not coming through so let's get some some more here and see is this connection over spirit can you give us some more direct answers please for group number two is this connection over we have when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories that you have shared with those that you love so that's also kind of with this feeling of with the temperance, there wants to be a mending of this. So for those of you, I mean, most of you, this is a no contact. So being in no contact with this person, there does want to be like a mending and a healing of the situation. But it's like, I feel like the ego is stepping in here in the way to say that like, there's too much conflict around this. So there has to be kind of a letting go of that ego and sort of just doing what we want to do from the heart. Is this connection over for group number two and their person spirit? Can you give us some yes or no's, please? Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities that you admire in one another are qualities that you both possess. Equally so, the qualities that you don't like are also your own reflection. Yeah, definitely this pile feels... feels difficult in terms of getting an answer for a yes or no. So most of you, it's not going to be a yes or no. It's going to be dependent here. We'll see a little bit more then. Can you give us, and this justice card kind of flew out from the top. So that does make sense actually, the justice card. Um, Because I do think that you both could mirror each other and also you could trigger each other quite a bit. Is this connection over for group number two, Spirit? Yes or no? I mean, I will say some of you, this is going to be like a highly independent path that you're taking in your own life here. So in that way, I'm kind of getting it's more of like a no because it feels like, but it's not like a shut door no. It's more of like a no in terms of like, I have to focus on myself right now and you are also focusing on yourself. And I think that it's a very independent road with this nine of pentacles and the two of pentacles, which is why I'm seeing here that... It's not so much maybe about, you know, coming together in this huge union, at least not from the energy that we're reading from right now. Um, it feels more like with the Six of Cups here, like that card says, you know, be aware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire also, you know, all of that. So I do think with the Ace of Swords, um, Let's get some more Oracle cards and go a little bit deeper into this and see. So group number two, is this connection over for you and this person? 
because it's almost like I'm getting a like just kind of a straight line like a nothing kind of energy here which is telling me that it's very hard to define this I don't think it's a yes but I don't think it's a no um, let's see is this over here so we have happy times ahead we have nose ear worth Yeah, there's a lot of pride here because I can't I can't seem to get through to it. It's definitely there's a lot of pride. I do feel like this connection is highly led by the universe, though, in terms of it's beyond your control. That's probably why it's also coming up that way with the justice card. So, yes, in terms of like you hearing from this person again, I think that you will. I think there will be some, um, at least with the Ace of Swords, definitely a text or a call at the very least. Um, and there's been a lot of healing work that's been done between you both. There's been lifestyle changes, but yeah, there's a lot of control issues here because again, the energy does feel very rigid and kind of closed off. So in that way, I do feel that like, for example, if you all want this connection to come back together, I'm not sure if this is you refusing to budge or this is purely the other person, but it is that feeling of like, I'm refusing to change or I have it's been in incredibly difficult to change here but I do think this person who you're connecting to though they have been seeing your true value they have been seeing your true worth and I feel that we're going to look into that in the extended but I am already getting with the ace of swords that there may be a conversation that you will have um, where there is going to be this feeling of like you both having to be mindful of how you talk to each other because it could go like it could kind of escalate into conflict quickly or you could kind of go backwards in the situation so with the justice and the temperance i feel like there is something good happening here there will be a successful outcome so as i get more into it then i would say yes or i'm sorry no this is not over in terms of never talking again or never at least talking from from what i'm getting so far um there is a happy time ahead here but i feel like with that card too when you pass from this world it's kind of about knowing like what's important and i think that someone had to go through a lot of healing surrounding their ego and pride you know maybe letting that get in the way of, of who we really love and who we want to be with and letting the small trivial things kind of stand in, stand in the way with that um there also could be children involved here there might be if it's not that it could be immaturity but there could be children involved in the, with the justice maybe a situation which requires like a careful handling of this right now with the magician i am being drawn to say too that a lot of you are manifesting this to come in so whether you know it or not i do feel like you're manifesting this call or text at the very least um, and that's what is happening so yes there is going to be that interaction um, is this connection over what other detail can we get here for this question spirit is this connection between group two and their person over there's a lot of tension to be unraveled here yeah divisive differences and we also have here holding back so you could have a lot of differences with this person that also could be why I'm also being shown a future timeline. If you are looking for an answer about, you know, I don't know yet, I haven't gone into the extended and we don't know long term, nobody knows what that's going to be like, but I am getting something to where if you are hoping for like, let's say that you're hoping for a long term connection or marriage, it might be that things are too different maybe between the two of you to reach to that level. So if you're having the question in your mind about that, it could be more of a like, yes, it's over because it feels like there's going to be a lot of challenge stacked up. It's not impossible and it can definitely happen, but it is that kind of overall feeling of like there is a divisive difference here in this whole situation which is going to be very challenging to move beyond it so yeah but the clarity will be brought in the conversation about it will happen but in terms of this being like a happily ever after union that's where it's sort of on the fence here and maybe leaning towards more of an over 
um, unless there can be more of a clear like conversation and clear um, because it could even be some of you that the pride is coming from the fact that you are different and maybe this person has to really sort of accept that or they need to make a decision from their heart and not the ego especially if there are children and things that are more like material material world going on here that is where there's a holding back of this so it's really about like pushing through that and it's not an easy thing to do some of you there could be a lot of chemistry physically between you both and that also might be you know either part of what will come in or that is just spirit's way of saying that th that is a big thing in this connection here that's and I do feel with the temperance too, that could be another reason why this connection might be tricky or needing more time because of the intensity physically that you could have, but maybe a question around if it's right or if it can be, if it can happen in this lifetime, um, all of that here. Let's see some more. Power number two, this connection between you and this person. Is this connection over? What else can we see? This no contact here. Is this connection over? We see that there's going to be something. So but let's just see anything else. Is this connection over for pile number two? So we have choose a new direction. We have next month that came out for pile one, two. So there could be something big happening in February for the collective. And then we have in the spring. Is this connection over for pile number two? We have within a year's time. And then all of these flew out. We have a few years from now blocked for your highest good and until the lesson is learned. Yeah, so for this pile, that's where I'm getting. It's like it's very interesting and we will look at that text or call that could be coming in and definitely see more about what that will be and anything else beyond that but it's like i feel for some of you the call or the text could be coming in very soon but in terms of like i said maybe like a longer term connection or if you're hoping for more than just a, a small encounter it could be a while like it could be within a few years or so again this isn't set in stone but it's just from the current energy it can always change but as of right now it feels like it's a little bit further on like in the future and also that's what i was referring to as well with the justice there's something going on here which feels like um a lot of lessons in this connection that have to be dealt with first And for some of you, with this block for your highest good, that's where I'm kind of getting the answer could be a yes, it's over in terms of more than just this text or call because I feel there's happy times ahead for you um, because there's a lesson that with the justice has to be kind of learned by everyone involved and has to sort of follow a certain accordance you know, of the universe. It feels like there's something like that going on to where this is not like an easy situation. This is not something that I feel the stars are kind of aligning in a really positive way at the moment for the two of you. But it also does say here too, it may take some time, but your efforts will not go unnoticed and keep putting the work in, even if you can't see your manifestation. So that's what I was saying with the magician too. Again, this battle feels like maybe some of you who chose this too, you could be very good manifestors. So it's like, you would understand that you really can manifest whatever you want, even though free will is involved. There's still a feeling to where you, there's like, I'm just seeing timelines, like there's timelines opening up in the future to where there is these potentials for the two of you. And I feel like it's about, it's not about like trying to trying really hard to manifest it. It's not really about that. It's more so saying that things are manifesting in the background here. 
and it may take more time, whether that's a year or a few months, it will depend, but it may take a little bit more time. It could just be blocked right now for the time being. Let's see a little bit more. So let's go into this deck here. This is a very dark, blunt deck. Um, so this is just gonna be the kind of shadow around this. It doesn't mean it's the whole situation or the whole connection, but let's just try to see here because we're trying to get like a solid answer. So group number two, is this connection over between you and your person? What does the viewer need to know about like maybe like a glimpse into what this next interaction is going to be before we go into it over in the extended what is the next interaction or what does the viewer need to know about the outcome here i'm seeing temptation so yeah it feels like there could be temptation involved maybe there's more than one person involved in this situation which is where justice comes in um you know i feel like because I'm hearing Spirit say something about trial error, trial and error. So this connection might have to take, you know, again, more runs sort of for it to move forward because of either temptations around this or because of the sort of situations within yourself that you are sorting out, if that makes sense. So but before we look at that card, I am seeing at the bottom, though, we have the diamond in the darkness. Someone sees that you have elevated your life in a tremendous way and they feel like nothing next to you now. They never saw your true potential. Too little, too late, darling. So that definitely makes sense. I do feel like that could be a part of the justice and the Ace of Swords is, yeah, there's pride about this person admitting that you were like this diamond or you were the one or you were... Um, someone that they maybe should have chosen or that that in sort of fate and destiny the two of you are meant to be together but there is this feeling of maybe with the choose a new direction that there's protection see but behind that too the one who protects see you're there's a lot of protection around this connection currently a lot of it with this block for your highest good too and that's why it's one of those situations and one of those connections where if it's not aligning at the moment um, or if it's not in your highest good to break that no contact, your guides will very much protect you from that connection from this person. So with the Ace of Swords, there may be, again, we'll see, but it could be that clarity or that um, admittal, not admittal is not a word, admitting of truth about this connection that does come in. Um, in terms of, you know, something along the lines of that you were the one or that I know your worth now. But maybe things have to be sorted out in terms of the longer term future. So let's see. We have the dark love. Okay, so we have this connection is not good for you. Bad luck, mood swings, and anger are a sign to cut this person out of your life ASAP. Take care of your own health and let them deal with their own BS. So again, this is like a shadow card. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. But it doesn't mean this could be a different spectrums. It could be something on a small scale up to you would know if this is like just definitely someone that is no good for you whatsoever, then that would be your confirmation. But um, it could just be that right now, again, it's not good for you. It's not fully good for you. And it doesn't stop someone from coming towards you completely unless your guys are totally blocking it out so that's where i'm getting that there's a window of opportunity that will come in between you both it's not over in that way but it also feels like there's certain things that are kind of dark maybe around this connection in this situation so if you do currently or when this ace of swords energy could come in feel a darkness or you feel like your energy just completely um, crashes around this person then that would be that you know this is you the diamond here and your guides want to say that maybe this connection just again is not is not going to be ready for a while longer whether it's a year or six months or two years or three years nobody really knows but it feels like that's what's coming up here so let's get some message cards from this person to see what they would want to say to you about this. So is this connection over? Is it, yeah, is it over? We have, I can't reach out. So with this Ace of Swords here, maybe this has been on hold for a while. Maybe this feeling of like, I want to reach out, but I can't is, is kind of the feeling. 
Um, maybe they can't because of another connection. Maybe they can't because of children, differences that you have, cultural differences, family. Um, and I think that's why I said in the beginning with the magician and the temperance, it feels like a very energetic connection in terms of a lot of this is taking place on an energetic level. We have, I would do it all again. I wish we could go back. I want to make amends. See, they want to make amends. I do think this person has some regrets, and maybe you do too. Maybe some of this is you as well, um, and maybe you can't reach out either. One of you or both of you can't reach out, or you feel like you can't reach out. I compare others to you. See, I don't want to let you go. It's like I don't think that this connection wants to truly be let go of, but that's where there's this brick wall in front of it where your guides need to protect you here. I admire you. Okay, so I'm gonna end up get a, going to get a final advice card and then we will go to the extended and take a look at that next interaction. But I will say though, like for this reading, because pile one felt a little bit more concrete here, this one feels a little bit more like I'm not super certain to say that it will happen but i do feel it's like a 50 50 maybe or maybe more than that i'm not sure but it definitely is coming through that there will be i feel something for most of you unless somebody somebody's free will just turns them away from it or they ignore that calling but for a lot of you there will at the very least be a conversation that will come in or a text or call so let's get the final advice for you what is the final advice for the viewer We have new beginning, a new adventure awaits, embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So we have that um, happy times ahead too. So again, we'll look at that in the extended, but I definitely feel like it could be you though, just like your own new beginning. It definitely could be that. I'm seeing two people shaking hands. Some of you here, this is like a random side note, but you could be... Um, like signing a contract with a new employer or a new job or you're going somewhere because I'm just seeing that like introductory introductory handshake happening between two people which I don't really feel is connected to this person because I don't think this is someone that you're going to shake their hand I mean it, if it's a romantic connection probably not um, it could be like an agreement is made though it could be a compromise is made Maybe that's just a metaphor, like shaking the hand, but there definitely is some kind of new beginning. So there's a new adventure. All is not lost for you. Um, okay, so I'll leave it here and go into the extended. So I hope that this reading could help group number two. Thanks so much for being here. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love. Hello, group number three. If you chose the black tourmaline stone, let's go ahead and see what we have going on for you. So if you missed the intro, there also will be an extended reading and you can find the link for that down below in the description box. And in that reading, if it's a no, that this connection is not over, we are going to be taking a look at the next interaction, the next meeting, um, hopefully like a physical meeting, you know, in person, but it also could be just the next time that you have a significant conversation, um, or contact. And if it's a yes, that this connection is fully over, then we are going to be taking a look at just any closure that you might need to hear. So what is maybe this person wanting you to know about how you can have closure what maybe you are missing about this to help you and also what spirit wants you to know about closure so let's go ahead and get into it group number three go ahead and think about your person so think about the person that you have on your mind right now so spirit tap us in here to the energy for group number three Anybody who is currently here watching this reading for group number three. So between them and the person that they have on their mind right now. So can you help us to get some 
concrete answers as to is this connection over, yes or no, between them and this person that they are in no contact with. Allow me to channel clearly and accurately here. Okay, so let's see. Is this connection over, pile number three, between you and this person? Three of Swords. Justice. So I am hearing the first thing I'm hearing here with the fool, the nine of swords at the bottom, I'm hearing there would need to be a lot. So I'm also getting a strong Scorpio energy for somebody. Is this connection over, pal three? There is definitely... Okay, so I think for this pile, there's a lot here that has to be untangled around the situation. There definitely could have been a third party connection and not for all of you, but for some of you, there may have been some kind of infidelity here. And... I feel like... To be honest, I kind of feel like this is somebody who could be avoiding taking responsibility for whatever may have happened here in this no contact situation, or it could be you. If it's you um, needing to take responsibility for something or accountability, then it could be you. But I do think that as of right now with the justice, out of all the three piles, this feels more like a yes, only because it feels like we'll get more. And I forgot to mention, you know, nothing is set in stone. So this is not like a permanent thing. It doesn't mean that it's forever this way, but just based off of current energy. Because something with that justice here is telling me that it could be made right if it wanted to be. But I feel like with the Three of Swords, there's a lot to either like explain here or a lot to salvage with the situation. Tell us a little bit more. Is this connection over group number three between you and this person? Two of Pentacles. Two of Swords. And we have the Ten of Wands here at the bottom. Okay, is this connection over between you and this person? Again, I do feel for the most part, it's kind of given me more of a yes, um, but it feels like, of course, there's potentials for that to break out of that, but it almost gives me the impression of like a ping pong ball almost, and it's like stuck in a glass container and it keeps going back and forth and it can't be free, or like a butterfly in a cage or in a jar. So I feel like this is something around this feels like it's very difficult for us to move beyond this and to come into contact or to move out of this feeling of this energy. I feel also that there's a lot of heavy emotions around this. With the Ten of Wands, I am seeing somebody uh, maybe wanting to say something to you or you want to say something to them in the snow contact, maybe writing a message or a text or a letter um, and kind of wanting to with the justice and how it flew out sideways. I feel like there's almost like a need to release a lot of this heaviness around the connection currently. And I'm hearing it's, it's more so about a comfort zone which is preventing this connection from, you know, maybe moving forward or coming out of this. It could also be a lot of pride and ego, but it feels like, you know, again, there's, I'm hearing once again, there would have to be a lot with the 10 of wands and the three of swords. It's like, this would take a very long time to tangle or to untangle, especially if there were knots everywhere. So it feels like that kind of feeling, you know, if you have like a knots in your hair um, and it's like a really huge knot that takes a really long time and it's also really frustrating. You just kind of want to cut it out. So I do think that's what I'm getting here. It's like there's um, there's a feeling of, is this over? It's more of like, I'm almost like avoiding it instead of doing something about it and letting it be over 
even if that's not really what I want or even if there's still things that are up in the air. Because with the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, it doesn't feel like the final decision has been made. It doesn't feel like it's something that, um, you know, like I said, is like sealed in stone, but it feels like it's I have to come forward and right now I'm ignoring it or you have to come forward and right now you are ignoring it or both parties are ignoring it. So and that candle just went out. Tell us a little bit more for group three. Is this connection over? Yes or no? Is this connection over? Seven of cups reversed, the page of swords. Yeah, there's a lot of watching from afar. For this, it actually feels more like guarding almost, like guarding what I feel, which is probably more so the person you're connecting to, um, not wanting to open up here, almost like maybe not wanting to admit certain things. Some of you may have been in a cycle for a while with this person or you've gone in circles with this and maybe with the seven of cups in reverse this even could be something where that's a part of it is like how do we get out of this circle how do we get out, get out of this maze that we've created between the two of us how does this no contact situation break so i'm kind of getting like if it were to be a no that this is not over it would have to be something completely different which is gonna depend for a lot of you. Maybe it's about approaching this connection in an entirely different way. Maybe it's about having a different label about what this connection is. Um, <laughs> maybe it's about with the justice, like needing to, you know, again, communicate in a certain way about this because right now there's a lot of confusion here okay with the seven of cups in reverse there's confusion around this and there could actually be this this pile also could be just a like i said also a confusion and like a a stalling effect here so maybe the final decision about this whoever is it sort of in control or both of you have not made that final decision but with the justice it would be dependent on coming out of that indecision and doing something if it were to be not over. I hope that made sense. Let's see a little bit more. Pile three, Spirit, can we be clear here? Um, is this connection over, yes or no? Can we get a clear message for pile three? We have, you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So like I said, for all the three piles, this one feels the most closest to a yes being over. Um, but I just want to keep reiterating that because I don't want anyone to feel like, you know, you have your own control. Just take this more as an indication of what you need to know, but also where your energy, where your focus is around this connection. It doesn't mean that it has to be over if you don't want it to be, um, unless that's something that you feel. But yeah, out of the three pals, this one feels like it is the most over. Um, and it feels like with the seven of cups here in reverse and the three of swords, a lot of this does have to do with maybe heartbreak that has been repeating over and over. And so it's even something I'm hearing too, like, do you really want this to come back or do you really want this connection again? So maybe you would in a more like for from your ego maybe, or maybe they do, but there's a piece of this that feels like we also need to tear down this 10 of wands like I said, you know, untangle all of this. And if we were to ever come back together, it would need to be a completely like new beginning. It with no remnants of sort of this energy here. Group number three, is this connection over? What else can you tell us spirit for group three? We have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think that you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So for some of you, like I just mentioned with the 10 of wands, there could be like a guilt here almost or a feeling of 
maybe I'm not sure if you have just been in this because of something to do with your own challenges or wounds because with the seven of cups reverse it kind of feels like coming out of an illusion of some sort or coming out of a blind spot when it comes to this connection so maybe even asking yourself that question what is it that you do truly want because with the justice card here too I am getting for some of you it's like there's a need for fairness in this equation or in this connection at the bottom we have look inside of yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way let's get a little bit more here Group number three, is this connection over? Spirit, can we get some more indication? I'm seeing a clock that has spun around and around like a million times, but not quickly, just like at a regular pace. So this could be that this has been a very long time for some of you. Um, I'm just gonna take this away. It may have been a very long time. And it also could be that you've been waiting for this for a long time too, you know, and I think that's also what that power is too. You instinctively know, is it something that is getting to the point where you've waited long enough and there needs to be a letting go of it? Let's get some more details. So Spirit, what else can you tell us for group number three? Is this connection over for group number three? that card just flew across the room let me get it we have hot and cold I am hearing for some of you not for everybody but you could already be kind of in contact with this person it may not be like a total no contact situation it could be a every now and then contact situation for some of you yeah So, I mean, I definitely have to say, I think for this pile, for most of you, it is something which is a little bit unhealthy um, and there's something better for you. And for some of you, there will still be like an ongoing cycle of this. So you may, it may not be like the end of the road in terms of you ever hearing from them. But I do think with this, there's someone better. They are encouraging you here to keep your options open. Let's see, tell us a little bit more. Is this connection over for group number three? Because I'm almost seeing something trying to work and it just like doesn't work or we're trying to make something fit but it just doesn't fit, the slipper doesn't fit. So I feel like that could be what this guilt talks about here too in whatever way that's gonna resonate with you. I don't know if maybe you have not been true to yourself. Um, maybe you have not been true to yourself or, or this is something around this to where it's maybe even having to go deep within yourself to come to that realization it may not be something that you see right away but with the two of pentacles here too there could be a, some definitely some work or financial problems here for this person or for you probably this person though with the justice and the two of pentacles and it's like i think there's almost like too much of a focus here right now on something else going on, like maybe a financial situation or some problems that are going on for them. And so that's also contributing to why this connection is having a hard time getting off the ground. And so is this connection over group number three? surface level bonds and we have here when least expected stringing along scared of rejection yeah I, I hate to give a negative reading and say that but it does feel that way to me it kind of feels like this is something which isn't really moving beyond the surface level bond 
um, it's like I can't, there's nothing more to sort of move beyond that. Um, let's get a little bit more here and see if there's anything else. Group number three, tell us a little bit more of them. Is this connection over for group number three? Four of Swords. The Death card. Again, I think it probably is, um, even if there is some kind of contact. I think for the extended, even though my regular, or not regular, but my um, initial intention was to take a look at what you need to know in terms of closure from them, I'll still do that. But I do want to also see what that possible next interaction would be if there were to be one because I do feel for some of you maybe there's this hot and cold and it's going to still help you to have closure but yeah with the death card here because what I was going to say is even if there is an interaction it doesn't necessarily mean that it's even if you break a no contact cycle it's not like putting you in a position to where it means that it's not over if that makes sense like there's still something regardless of what happens here that maybe that is when that comes back around that there's a stringing along that there's a plan b here that there's a maybe a surface level to where it's not going to go further than than that you know for a few of you watching this this won't be for all of you but this could even be someone that like you don't really have a history with and maybe you just kind of feel like there's something between the two of you but you don't know what it is and there's a fear of rejection on their end or your end, and then eventually you will have that clarity, and maybe it's gonna be not everything that you thought it was gonna be. Maybe you're just not gonna be that into them, um, something like that for some of you, but. Let's see, group number three, let's get these cards here. Tell us a little bit more detail. So just anything else you want to say then, Spirit, about this reading in terms of this question for if it's over between them and group number three. Anything else that you want to say? Because for some of you watching this, you may already know this or you may have expected this answer for some because maybe you are ready for something new. Maybe you are ready for something that's better for you. Is this connection over group number three? What else do we have here? Because I'm seeing something spinning. I keep being shown something spinning around and around. We have not worth waiting for. Um, that's really ultimately what it is, especially if you chose this pile and it has been a very long time that you've been in no contact. And um, I'm getting the message too that Sometimes spirit will tell us something, like give us an answer like this. It may not be that this is the case, but it could be. <laughs> I don't know, it's just that I'm getting this download where sometimes they do tell us these things so that we can snap out of a cycle that we've been waiting forever. So whatever happens within a year's time or longer will depend and will vary and maybe something would come out of it. It's really unknown, but as of the moment that we're doing the reading, there's this feeling of like you need to go through a transformation you need to go through an ending you need to let it go kind of feeling so spirit could be giving this information for you so that you don't stay in the same vibration forever because if i were to say yes or if this were to be something that you were to get the answer that you wanted to hear um, it would only be kind of backfiring on you because then you wouldn't be healing or letting go the way that you should be if that makes sense you know it's that kind of feeling to where spirit could just be telling you this right now because it's either just not the right timing or this is in order to push you beyond your own blockages um, so that you don't keep spinning in this circle so it could be more about you than anything else so we have very soon it does say here very soon you will see the situation resolve itself so i think this is more so speaking to clarity maybe that you were having about this connection yeah, quiet time. Spend quiet time f um, to freely and honestly examine your life. So I feel like that's what this is saying, that some of you might be heading into a time to where with the Four of Swords, you do need some time to think about all of this. Um, you know, again, maybe this is how you feel. Maybe you know that this person, maybe you don't even want 
kind of this to come back around or you question whether or not this has the substance to go somewhere more in the future. Time interference, that's why I keep seeing the clock. There are other people's free will affecting the situation. So with this quiet time and the time and the death card and the four of swords, that's where kind of I just mentioned that um, maybe right now for the time being, for the next however, like few months or so, maybe six months, maybe a year, it's more of that quiet time or not worth waiting for for the time being. Because I feel like with this time interference, like I said, there's other things that are being tended to. Work, finances, maybe a third party. Um, so it's like you sitting here is only going to keep you spending in the same place. Let's see what else we have. So what does um, group number three most need to know about this connection in terms of any potential outcomes or any glimpse into the future or whatever you want pal three to most know, please spirit. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna put a trigger warning for this reading because it definitely is very heavy for some of you to hear maybe. Um, we have what appears to be something is actually nothing. The situation is numb, cold, and void. Perhaps this person doesn't understand their feelings or they simply feel nothing. So again, you know, it could be that this entire situation, depending on who this is for you, maybe there's just simply no, there's not enough, there's not enough here. There's not enough attraction. There's not enough love. There's not enough something. Or it might be with the Four of Swords that at the moment, that's where this connection is coming through as, as there's really nothing to latch on to right now, meaning that, like I said, with the death card, it's better to kind of end things now or to not wait around and let it transform if it needs to in the future. But for most of you, like 90% of you, there's something better coming in um, because this surface level bond is where that glob of nonsense comes in to where, you know, maybe it's just, it doesn't really have the substance to move beyond that. We also have here the invasive spectators. There's an army of eyes watching your every move. Are they here to enjoy the show or to crash the party? Your relationship with your person is between you and them only and not others. So for some of you, because I'm seeing at the bottom here, we have this, a past relationship you thought was over is coming back to life. An ex-partner is determined to come back and win you over. So I don't necessarily feel like that's what the reading, because we, we're getting kind of a yes here in terms of it being over. But I do feel like either this has already happened for some of you, or it's sort of like what would happen, or maybe what will happen. But it's like with these invasive spectators, like I said, there's too much being given to around this connection. There's too, 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 other, or too much other stuff that's being done or given to around this connection, which is why I'm getting that it's not worth waiting for because it's like trying to stand there and then the other person is, you're waiting for them to, to like get off work, but you're waiting for 10 years. It's like that feeling to where it just never kind of gets to that point. And that's the, the feeling I'm seeing here. Let's get a final advice card for you. What is the final advice for, I know we're gonna get the, that's actually, I'm gonna do that in the extended. So in the extended, like I said, I will look a little bit at if, if there's any future interaction, what would it be just to give you some closure? And then we'll kind of look more into this person as to what might bring you some closure right now. We will definitely get some of these um, handwritten messages which have been really enlightening for the other groups. So if you have been wondering like what they are thinking and what could lead to this, then we'll see what they want to say to you in terms of that closure. But let's get some of these messages here. What does this person want to say to you, group number three? We have I can't reach out. We have you broke my heart. So see, this also could be you saying it too, but 
with the three of swords here something definitely happened one of you i feel feels very heartbroken because you may have trusted the other person that this also for some of you could have been i don't feel it's the case for a lot of you but for some of you maybe you had a long-term connection with them and there's kind of a lot of maybe animosity here in this connection or this feeling of maybe even an ex here that there's like, yeah, there's like resentment here. We have, I find you so attractive. So this person does want to say that they do find you attractive. You do inspire them as well. So they, you could have inspired them, you know, when you were together, or this is still like something to where you inspire them from afar. Because, yeah, some of you watching this, maybe you just really expected to hear this, or maybe you already feel okay with this ending. For some, I wonder how you feel. And, yeah, I'm noticing we have also, we don't share the same values. So I kind of feel like also, if this is someone that you especially haven't talked to in a very long time, I think I mentioned the beginning, and it kind of, yeah, that's why I said there was a feeling of if nobody does anything, then of course it's going to end. So that also could be the case too, you know, if this is not fully resonating with you as in it's just nobody cares it could just be more of too much time has passed maybe or there's been so much that has gone on for so long that you know again if somebody does something I think that's what I'll look into in the extended like if there were to be action taken what would happen with that because I do think for some there could be that element of it's over just because nothing has transpired or nobody has done anything um but obviously we do have this surface level, we don't share the same values, so maybe it's something that like, it's hard to make it work regardless. And we have, I can't be with you. See, there's something kind of block here to where this person has almost like made up their mind somehow that they can't be with you for whatever reason. So I will leave it here though, group number three, and I will go over to the extended. Um, thanks so much for being here. Um, I really hope that this could resonate with you. I hope it can give you some clarity and closure. I know it's kind of a heavy reading, um, but I hope it could help. And I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love.